The Kenya Union of Domestic Hotels educational institutions, hospitals, and allied workers is holding a two-day forum to sensitize representatives of the Central Organization of Trade Unions, private recruitment agencies, and the Federation of Kenya Employers on the need to institute policies that protect Kenyan workers seeking opportunities abroad. Through dialogue, so that all of us who are practicing issues of migration, trafficking and people who are going outside the country. We come together so that we can dialogue and say this is the proper way of doing things. So we ourselves as a union, KOTU, FKE and the, and the ministry, we are calling the authority. And they like today, let's wake up. Let's begin dialogue. Let's begin social dialogue so that all of us can participate in the best ways in putting in place structures, mechanisms, and above all, policies which are adaptable and which can be able to be followed by everybody. Kodeya General Secretary Albert Njeru warned private agencies who recruit Kenyans to work outside the country illegally. Let's put in progress all mechanisms like yesterday so that we can address the issues of people migrating illegally. People are going illegally, either through Rwanda or using private agencies who are not registered. No, let's formalize. And this is why we as a trade union, we are saying, let's wake up. It's already with us, but let's correct the position where we should be. Njeru further urged those wishing to work abroad to follow due diligence to avoid falling prey of unscrupulous recruiters and employers. They ignore him because they are not aware. And this is we as a trade union, the employer agencies, we are saying all of us, we are starting a campaign. This is a campaign of arising and telling people, you people, don't just walk away. Don't use Magendo route. Use the proper mechanism, proper ways of addressing the shortages and what is going to be found. The forum comes in the wake of concerns that many Kenyans seeking domestic jobs in Gulf countries end up working in inhumane conditions, which in some instances have tragic outcomes.